Welcome back, folks. The first thing we want to do is get this background image into our design image. And all we need to do to do that is select the Move tool, grab it, and move it into our eatfruit.psd image. And as you can see, it's not quite big enough, so we're going to make uh, some adjustments to the size. And to do that, just go Control-T on your keyboard. Grab a corner, hold the shift key down, and scale it up to that size. Hit enter, and there is the start of our background layer. Okay, next, let's get to work cloning out this piece of driftwood. Okay, now what I'm doing here ladies and gentlemen, is holding down the space bar lets me pan around in the image. To zoom in on something, I use the keyboard shortcut of holding down the control key and the space bar at the same time. That'll give me the zoom tool, and whatever I marquee around, when I release the mouse, it zooms in on that. Okay? That's a little bit too close, so I'm going to hit control minus and zoom out a little bit, and right here is a good place to work. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is to grab the clone stamp tool right here. Now I want to select an area to clone from. Let's start right here. Um, hold the Alt key down and that gives you the little target symbol here. Click and that sets the source for your clone. Now with the brush tool selected you can clone over what you want to get rid of. In this case I want to increase the brush size. To do that I hit the right bracket key and that will increase my brush size and then I just paint paint in. You can see what it's doing. It's cloning from here the source onto this piece of driftwood and effectively getting rid of it. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a different area to clone. Get rid of some more of it. See what I'm doing? I'm just picking areas to clone from. And you can spend forever, you know. Depends on how good you want to be. But this this will not be viewed up close. No one's going to scrutinize it too closely. So we're just going to get in the ballpark and uh, call it a day. And I think that's good enough right there, folks. Maybe get rid of this sand over here. There, that looks good. Let me zoom out. Now we can go to work on this person right here. And we're just going to use the same technique to clone her out. We're gonna just going to clone some of this surf over her. Hit the Alt key. Choose a source. Let me make my brush size a little smaller. And start painting her out. Paint her out and paint in a little bit more of the waves. Now we want to pick a new clone source and clone some sand over her. There you go. And there's a lot of different ways to do this, folks. You can use patch tool and so on and so forth. I find this to be the quickest, easiest way when you're not um, trying to be anything then oh I got a little bit of the sky here so hit control Z um, I'll just continue painting see how easy that is is that a person sitting on a surfboard? Do I want him or not? I don't think so. Let's get rid of him too. Are these rocks or people? I don't know, but let's get rid of them. We don't want anything distracting us. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing to this person over here. Um, but I think I've made my point, so I'll meet you back here for the very next lesson.